In this demonstration we're going to look at creating virtual hard disks. Virtual hard disks are places where we store data and we've got three different types. We've got dynamic, differencing and we've also got fixed. So the first one we'll have a look at here is we'll have a look at dynamic. Now dynamic allows the disk to grow as required and it only stores the amount of data required at any point in time. So let's say for example I create a 40 gigabyte dynamic hard disk. It might only be, in the case of the file, could be a couple of hundred meg because it only needs to be the size of the data actually stored within there. So we'll do that through the Hyper-V Manager. So what I've got here, I'm sitting in the Hyper-V Manager, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click New, I'm going to create a new hard disk, brings me into a wizard, so what we'll do is we'll select the next button, then within the next button we've got two different formats, we've got VHD and as we can see this supports up to two terabytes, or we can go for VHDX and that will support up to 64 terabytes. So let's go with the VHDX, select the next button, as you can see here, we've got three different types, so we will go with the dynamic expanding disk, select our next button. What we're going to do here is we're just going to call it dynamic, select our next button, we're just going to create one of 100 gig, and we'll select our next button again, and we'll have a quick look at this, have a look at the summary, select our finish button. So that's now created our dynamic disk. And then if we have a quick look at Windows Explorer, there's our dynamic disk. If we just have a look at the properties of this, we can see that it's only 4 megabyte. Even though I told it was 4 gig, it only shows up as 4 meg. So we'll select OK at this point here, just minimize this down again. Next type of disk we'll create here is differencing disk. Now a differencing disk is the difference between a base disk. So this is quite useful for maybe testing purposes. Maybe what you want to do is you want to create a test lab. So what we'll have is we'll have a base Windows 2012 image, for example. Now I might create four virtual machines from that. And what the differencing disk will store is only the differences from the base disk. So again, we'll do that through the GUI. So we'll do new. We'll go with hard disk again. What we'll do, select our next button. What we're going to do here is we're going to go for a VHD this time. Select our next button. And what we'll do here is we'll go for a differencing disk. Select our next button. And what we'll do is we'll just call this one differencing. So we'll call it differencing. Select our next button. Then we need to specify the base disk. So we'll browse through here. And it's on my C drive. Program files. Microsoft Learning. Into base. And we'll just go for the base 14A WS12R2 disk. Select open. Select our next button and then select finish. Right, so we'll create that disk again. If we just come into Windows Explorer, there's our differencing disk. We'll just have a look at the properties here. And again, we can see this is quite small. It's only 332K. Remember, this is only storing the differences from the base disk. So we'll cancel that out and minimize that down again. The last type of disk we'll create here is a fixed disk, and this is actually the size that we create. So if I create a 40 gig disk, it will be 40 gig in size. So what we'll do is we'll do this through PowerShell, just to prove that we can do it through PowerShell, as well as do it through the GUI. So what we'll do here, just launch a PowerShell, and in PowerShell we'll just issue the command to create our fixed disk. So the command is used here is new hyphen VHD, hyphen path, sql and backslash shares, backslash VHDs, backslash fix.vhdx, hyphen size bytes, I'm going to make one gig, and then hyphen fixed. So then all we'll do here, just hit the enter key. That's now creating the disk. Now to create the disk, let's have a look at Windows Explorer. There's our fixed disk. If we have a look at the properties here, what we'll see is this is indeed one gigabyte. That's the end of this demonstration of creating virtual hard disk.